Hey, hello there peeps, welcome to another one of my videos. In this video, I'll be playing Stardew Valley while also saying some tips here and there in the middle. This is called a Stardew Valley tip gameplay, or tip playthrough. So anyways, enjoy. I, by the way, have a new microphone, and I'm on my PC. Let's load into Mark Micro Farm because, of course, that's where all the fun happens. Here we are on Ginger Island. Of course, it's a rainy day. You'll hear my keyboard, but I, I can't do anything about it. Living off the land. Item spotlight, worm bin. Yep, more bin. I don't need that. Fortune teller. Mildly perturbed. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. My inventory is very full of random stuff. And here we are on Ginger Island. <gasps> Ooh, my fruit tree has grown. This is apparently a pomegranate tree. I was expecting a mango tree, but I do still have my banana tree which will be ready soon and then the mango tree which I'll need sometime I have mail I found this in a drawer some day so, thought you could use it Pam why am I friends with Pam my inventory is full um I'll just put that there I guess yes I need I sell some stuff the pomegranate of course I don't need that I already have a pomegranate tree on my other farm on the in Pelican Town, I mean. So, now let's sell all this stuff. Uh, won't need this. Don't think I'll need the iron ore. Actually, I'll just drop that into a chest. And then I collected a prismatic shard. So now how many prismatic shards I have? Three. Okay, so. This goes there. Soul sapper ring. Well... I can just put that in a drawer. I don't. I won't need that because it gives you energy when you slay a monster, and I don't really need energy because I have tons of energy. I don't have problems with energy while I'm mining. And then I can sell the amethyst. We need speed. Good thing I have my 46 triple shot espresso. Then I'm gonna really quickly run over here and put my. I'm gonna make another triple shot espresso and then put my other coffee right here. Put my bone fragments in here. As well as the coconuts. Tarot tubers can go here. Magma caps can go here. I don't have space for that. Then I'll take out a bunch of stuff. What else should I take out? Nothing else. I won't need the fiber. I guess I can put the rest of this stuff here. And I have my cinder clown shoes. Good, so I won't need my space boots anymore. Purple mushroom I can put in here. Ready more stone. I'm spending way too much time with chests. Don't have enough space for cinder shards. In goes the gold ore and that, and treasure troves. How can I see it? I can plant. And now the last things. I won't need beer. I can just put that in here. I don't need to drink that because it gives me a minus speed boost. And now my coffee can go in here. Everything else is either planted or sold, which just is the Joja Cola and then mahogany seeds I will plant. I hope my keyboard sound isn't too loud. I'll check later on. Too close to a fruit tree. Yep. Where's my hoe? Why are my tools not organized? Oh, the code is actually always at the end. Then right here, can I put my mahogany? tree there. 
It is already 8 a.m. 8 game a.m. Let's uh, break this because why not? It could also drop me a golden walnut, but I'm pretty sure I've already collected all the golden walnuts from these. From these muscle rocks. Well, I am gonna do stuff. Nobody's at the resort, probably because it's raining. I'm gonna take my new and repaired Paired Express to the first dig site. I'm gonna check for fossils there. Here I am on this side, actually. Got a few stuff there, a few bone fragments. There's a bunch of treasure, and there's some wild bait. Also, if you don't know, see these weird rocks right here? If you break them, they always give you clay. So if you need clay, just go over here and break all these rocks. I already have 16 clay. That's very good, Dave. I'll give you about three clay each. Maybe two. Here's the music, your, your speaker. Professor Snail, you use us to do your fossils. I just need the last snake bone. Hmm, my nose is telling me that snake spines might be found in the western region of the island. Oh, that means I should probably go over to the western region of the island and hold the artifact spots. What does the trader sell today? Cheap, cheap, not cheap, small cap, well, you know, a Lua skirt for 50 terror roots is not cheap, you little owl. Ooh, a gem bird. I just forgot that it's raining. I won't need the gems they drop anymore because I've already completed the jungle puzzle thing. Also, if you want to kill this doggy thing, just water him with your radium watering can. Or place some stuff on the holes. Not seeing any artifacts, by the way. And you, by the way, can plant stuff on this side. As you see by my demonstration of my coffee, you can plant stuff, which is truly very helpful, and I think a lot of people will need that information. I just realized I'm immune to slimes, so I don't have to worry about that. I could just kill them for walnuts or something, and I can, by the way, access Key's room, and I'm actually wasting time because I'm not completing his quests. First quest. There's something. There's more to this world than that meets the eye, kids. Someday you might understand. For now, just keep striving for excellence in everything you do. Whoops. Let's check my perfection. Produce and forage shipped 89%. Obelisks 0 out of 4. Golden clock on farm no. Monster slayer hero no. Great friends no. Farmer level. Oh, that's the only thing I have completed. Fish caught 95%, golden walnuts. This is the only thing that I have fully completed, and I have 39% done. You still have dialogue? Can I give you stuff? No. I can't buy anything. I have zero key gems, or whatever they're called. I could, like, just put random stuff in there. Wait, can I? Is it has it already been a week? Uh, I've hidden key beans throughout the world. Find them, grow them, propagate them, and ship 500 kefir within the time limit. 14 days. Hungry challenge. Make it this. This is better because I haven't even gone to floor 100 in this cool cavern. I probably can't 
and solve it while not eating anything. Something's telling me that I'm gonna fail at all these challenges. Also, if you don't, some of you don't know, go up here to collect this walnut. Also, I'm very curious about what's over here and why is there a path? Why is there one leading up to there? Maybe you can go through somehow, I don't know. But it appears that you can go over there, I don't know though. Maybe it's just a trick decoration thing. Okay, I'm wasting a lot of time. I need more triple shot espresso. I haven't found a single artifact or any painting, so I'm really making tons of progress here today. Maybe I should go into the volcano. Let's go to the volcano. I have nothing better to do. Then I need magma caps, this, this, and maybe some bombs. Okay, let's go over to the volcano caldera or the volcano mine. Or the Volcano Dungeon, as the Sturdy Valley Wiki says. You can't actually move around while you're in the Paired Express, which I find kind of cool. I also really love the animation. Also, if you take the exit shortcut, you pop out of here. And it disappoints me that you can't just go back in there. Also, hold this smiley face for a golden walnut. Also, check behind here for a golden walnut. I've actually been surprised because just a couple of days ago, I found out that I haven't caught that golden walnut yet. Okay, I'm gonna skip these guys. I don't know why I just got her. I need my sword. Ooh, here's a magma cap and here's a button. I know I need to step on that, so this thing opens up. If you see a button, make sure you step on it. There's some iridium wall, but I'm not gonna break it. I don't need it. Okay, the fireballs are already ruining my day. I should probably not scroll to use my tools. Oh no, can I get out of this level? This is probably because of the luck. There's the exit, already on floor 3, that's good. Um, where is the exit? Why do I not have my sword? Also, if you need pineapple seeds, kill these guys because they have a very high chance of dropping pineapple seeds. The night market is now open. Okay, I'm not going there. Obviously, I'm not going in there. No, I'm in the volcano. There's a... Looks like... Sounds like... There's a fireball coming. Okay, good thing I found the exit. Now I'm just gonna skip the fireball. Ooh, cinder ore. Three in a row. That's very good. It's 5 p.m. By the way, breaking rocks with your pickaxe is a good way of finding journal scraps here. If you break them with bombs, you're not going to get the journal scrap. Ooh, 
I'm gonna skip this fireball. And I'm on floor five already. What can we buy? We can sell some stuff. I can buy another pair of cinder clown shoes for some reason. Also, while you're here, break these because they drop stuff. This one usually drops some magma cap. I fixed the exit shortcut, but I'm not gonna exit. Is this floor infested or something? I guess there is an infested floor type here. Yep, it just doesn't say this floor is infested. Let's see if I can dodge all of these fireballs. I mean, get away from them. Yes, I did. Perfect. Um, where am I? I'm down here. Whoops. My screen is so big, it's hard to navigate things for some reason. Here's some more cinder ore. Should I break it? Yes, before this magma thingy comes. I don't know what it's called. There's a magma cap. Should I get it? Should I? I don't know. If I need to go over then, then I'll surely get it. Am I out of speed? Okay, first I'm gonna dodge the fireball. Oh, I'm jinxed, or what is it called? Burnt. <laughs> That's a cool debuff name. Burnt. Okay, now it's gone. Wait, what? Where's my... Oh, I ate something. I didn't heal up. What did I just eat? Tri magma cap? Yep, I think I just ate a magma cap. For no reason. I'm gonna go into here because there's a freaking chest. That's awesome. While I dodge this guy, I did not dodge this guy. I see this as a common chest, I think. Yes, this is a common chest. Ooh, dwarf hammer. That's very good. I haven't got that before. I can't say too much because I am in a bad situation. I'm not gonna break this in your ore. Or will I break this in your ore? What's going on? There is the exit, but I need to step on a button. Unfortunately. There's the button. Is that one? Yep. If there is one light, that means there's one button. Sometimes there could be three lights, sometimes there could be two. I'm on floor nine. I don't I didn't think I would make it here. Be careful with these, these do hurt you. Um okay. Not good. Oh my my heart is panicking right there. Good thing I'm healed. Wait, why am I not fully healed? Your monster slayer roll is complete. Oh, wow. Really? Okay. Come on. Finally killed this guy. Now I can heal up. Oh, there's a chest thingy. So now I can open this and dragon scale boots. That is the highest defense footwear in the game, I think, but it doesn't have any immunity. I'm glad I found it though, but so far my, cin my cinder clown shoes are the best option because they also contain the other things. Oop, that was weird, it just took a lot of damage. And now I'm through. Yay, what can I do? I don't have enough cinder shards. 
I can like enchant stuff. I didn't, by the way, check my dwarf hammer, see what it is. Okay, so uh, 75 to 85 damage on like this, 60 to 88. This one has like more damage. But my galaxy sword still is better, but this is really good. It's like a hammer. Nice, it's 12 a.m. It would be really good if I had a warp totem. But I'm heading home now. It's raining, it's dark, it's scary, I don't like it. Not that I'm scared of the dark, but I found some interesting treasure and made a little bit more progress. Didn't find any walnuts, but still, what progress did I make? Found the dragon scale boats. I do need to find the mermaid boots, though, which I can get from the rare chests in the dungeon that I was just in. Soon I'll find those. By the way, the jack-o'-lanterns do emit a tiny light. I think it's the same light as the torch. Actually, I'm gonna keep the clay. I'm gonna sell the coffee. I don't really care anymore. And now I'm gonna plant my awesome pineapple seeds right over here. Boom. I also have a lot of cranberries, which is gonna make me a lot of money. Let's go to sleep. I'm not gonna start the next day. I'm just gonna see if there's anything new on the next day. Maybe one of my trees will be grown. Maybe I'll have crops to harvest. I made a tiny bit of money. Actually, not much of a tiny bit. Pomegranate is worth 140 gold. Day 16th of winter already. We're right in the middle of winter. It looks like. A little more though. The fortune is neutral. It is not rainy, which is why the music is here. My pomegranate tree is producing another pomegranate, and I have pineapples to harvest. That's all. Everything looks so bright. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you smash that like button. If one of these tips helped you, make sure you really smash that like button. And subscribe if you like these videos. Smash that notification bell so you won't miss on any of my premieres. And then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.